someone collapses to the ground, it's important to consider your own safety first. Make sure that you've considered dangers before you approach anybody in any state. The next thing to do is make sure you know whether they're responding to you or not. If they're not responding, then it's key to check their airway, the breathing and the circulation. Airway management is the one thing that if it's got wrong, can cause somebody to die. We need to make sure that we manage somebody's airway quite quickly, but quite effectively as well. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the tongue hasn't fallen back into the throat and it's not obstructing the patient's breathing. As we're doing that, we can check inside the mouth, making sure there's no liquid in there, making sure there's no loose teeth, and making sure that there's nothing that's going to obstruct the airway by accident. The next important thing is to do what we call a head tilt chin lift. This ensures that the tongue doesn't fall back during the rest of the assessment process. That way, if the patient is still breathing, they don't choke on anything. In terms of maintaining this position, it's important that we do so. The human body, when it collapses, can become quite relaxed. The muscle tone becomes flaccid and the chin will drop back to the chest. If that happens, the tongue very likely will fall back into the throat and that will cause deterioration. So it's important somebody stays with the patient in this position until help arrives. If this isn't doable, then it might be a need where we turn the patient into the recovery position. That enables gravity to do its thing and stop the tongue from falling back. If a patient collapses to the floor, their A, B and C are the most important things to ensure that they don't die while they're in your care. Maintaining their airway using some kind of positional technique is key to making sure that we, keep, we give them some good safety. But then we also need to assess whether or not that patient's breathing. If they're not breathing, they won't get any oxygen. And if they don't get any oxygen, the likelihood is they'll deteriorate. So first of all, we need to look at how to check for breathing. And then we'll look at how to breathe for them. When we assess a patient's breathing, we'll look, listening and feeling for movement of air. We can look down the chest, looking for rise and fall of our hand on the chest or the stomach. We can feel for movement of air on the side of our faces. And we can see whether or not any breathing is actually taking place. When a patient collapses, looking after their A's, B's and C's is essential. Their airway, the breathing and the circulation. We can maintain their airway just by using position. We can check to see whether or not they're breathing by looking, listening and feeling. And we can check to see whether or not they've got adequate circulation just by pressing on the skin for two seconds, round about the forehead, and then releasing that to see whether or not the pinkness comes back. If the pinkness comes back within two seconds, their circulation is quite good. If it doesn't, the circulation is decreased and the blood isn't going around their body properly. 